Hi, welcome to Paleo Greenbird. I'm Greenbird, and today's video is going to be uh, talking a little bit about my latest project, which is my deer toe rattle. I'm very excited. Uh, what I used was a beechwood handle because there's beechwood is something that grows pretty prolifically where I'm at, and I used leather as the cordage to connect the deer toes to the handle. And a very simple project. What I did was I drilled the holes right through the handle, and then through trial and error discovered that um, it was best to tie knots close to the handle okay you see that as well as at the end of the deer toe and the reason that I did this you can see it better in that shot is I found that when the knots were uh, flush on the handle it kept it from kept the cordage from sliding around and kept the rattle itself much more uniformly shaped so it, as I was shaking it it didn't start to slide around or do any crazy stuff so um, that's what I chose to do. Uh, it took me about, I'd say, 35 to 40 minutes to make because there was a lot of trial and error, and this is my first time making it. I was inspired by a holiday gift exchange that I was part of, and I was fortunate enough to receive a deer toe bell from someone who has much more experience than I in, in making these, and I thought, you know what, why don't I give it a go myself? Um, if I had to do it again, one thing that I would do is I would drill the holes at an angle instead of straight across because I feel like it, it would stagger the deer toes a little better probably use less deer toes in the process and uh, maybe give a little bit more of a uh, projecting sound opposed to just kind of a clacking sound but either way I'm pretty happy with the way that this turned out I'm probably going to add some feathers maybe some maybe a leather handle um, maybe some beads in the bottom or something like that just to sort of spruce it up a little bit but for now this is the way it's going to be um, the Native Americans would use this for a number of different reasons. It was ceremonially used for uh, healing by the shamans and uh, also used as a form of uh, connecting to the to Mother Earth or connecting to the Earth by, by shaking it. And to the best of my research, I haven't found a lot that really truly explains how that concept was formed, but I believe that it was a form of clearing your mind, sort of like meditation. You know, you're, just like us today, I feel that the old boys probably had the same stresses and felt the same, um, you know, pressures, different pressures, but in, a, in the same way as we do today. I don't think that we're that, that we're that much different. So I feel like maybe the rallying gave them one thing to focus on, helped them clear their mind of other things, and brought them into a meditative state, much like what many of us do today in other ways. So, um, also, of course, they would use them in, yeah, for music. And when, when they were dancing and singing and doing things like that, the, um, they'd also sometimes make these rattles that would go around their legs, around the leggings. And as they were dancing, they would shake and rattle and so forth. So, uh, really cool. I'm glad that I put this together. Nice, easy project. And if you have any questions about how I did this or any suggestions for me or any advice on how you did it, would love to hear about it if you have any other information as to what these rattles were used for. Would love to hear that as well. 2019 is going to be a big year. I'm going to, I plan on putting out a lot more videos. Um, I'm shooting for one a week, so we'll see how that works out. So please uh, share this with your friends, subscribe, like, uh, and let me know what you think. All right, Paleo Greenbird, signing out.